Hey Jules Boss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. People we are in the middle of a self-care challenge and today is day 21. Wow <laughs> it really gives a sense of how quickly the month is going and it, maybe it's just because I'm a school teacher because oh my goodness with all the activities and like we really only have 15 school days between now and January. Uh, because like we have this whole week, but next week is Thanksgiving. We have the next two weeks, but then we have Christmas break. And then suddenly it's January. It's crazy because we want to get so much packed in that time. And a lot of fun things too. Um, like, you know, visits with Santa. And luckily I'm married to Santa Claus. So that will not be a problem. <laughs> but anyway, it's a exciting but busy time. And I'm just ensuring that I am not losing myself. You know, uh, I'm not fretting about, <coughs> excuse me, about what I can't have. You know, I'm really using my mantra of, I crave God's food, you know, which is all that outer ring stuff and mostly the produce section. So I crave God's food and I am free of disease and I am free of just any of the nonsense and as we're coming into the holidays I am going to absolutely honor myself by craving God's food you know happiness is a choice eating God's food is a choice and it's just the better way but with our self-care challenge I'm always one day ahead today was to create a Zen den and I had suggested that that could be an entire room it could be a space in the corner of a room. I know my good friend 101 Annie at Instagram, Annie Beard, um, has like a corner of a room. I was saying, you know, sometimes just because of the way life is, I have to have that Zen space within a space. So like getting lost in a book, you know, works for me. Uh, but yeah, I do appreciate just a beautiful space, you know, no matter how simple where you can enjoy that cup of tea and read that book for a moment or, you know, whatever it is you're engaged in. Um, it's a good idea. But for tomorrow, we're on day 21 and it is to get rid of three things you don't use. Three things you don't use, right? If you're in the kitchen, how many spatulas do you need? <laughs> how many wooden mixer spoons do you need? How many, whatever they're called, uh, graters, do you need? You know, like I had a whole second set of silverware and I just put it in a bag to donate because somebody needs that silverware and it's not me. You know, I am going to find three things, even better than just three things, three things in every room. I'm sure it's completely possible for most of us. And I, I know I have friends on here who have uh, decluttered many times. The amazing part is that you have to declutter again. <laughs> because it just keeps coming right and if you are someone who's decluttered your physical environment might you consider decluttering all those extra emails you know so it reads out with the old it's time to declutter your space and pick up three things you don't use to toss or donate please donate please donate what you consider trash could be a, a tremendous blessing for somebody else. I have a sister. She's like, eh, I don't like anyone to throw it in the trash. Don't, don't, please don't. Oh, I can't clutter anything. I'll come and get it. Like, just put it aside for one second and put Julie on it. Like, come on. Um, this helps you to open up your life and your space for new or better things or nothing. Nothing. A good rule of thumb to follow um, let's take it in. A good rule of thumb to follow when decluttering is if you haven't used or seen it in a year, you probably don't need it. That's straight up. And a lot of people say six months, some even say three. Cleaning out unused items within your space is a great way to keep your home tidy. It's also a way to just get that mental real estate of feeling enclosed, you know? This can also help prevent dust and dander from building up in your home, which can cause allergies. <laughs> Do not get me started. <laughs> I have a husband who like really has a hard time letting go of things and I try not to sneak too much to where he'll panic. 
but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. It's a big one, but three, absolutely. Three in each room, I welcome it. Like, yeah, I do secretly get rid of little things, you know, and sometimes he'll say, God, that's weird. I haven't seen whatever it was. Um, but you know, like even sneaking jackets out for the poor, you know, I, uh, I gotta just, well, tr be true to me, be true to me. All right. So getting rid of three things you don't use. Are you guys in? I pray. All right. Like if you like, join us if you haven't. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, best of all, know that you're blessed.